Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of the Crystal Palace Rebuild. I just got information that Ruben Loftus-Cheek is officially signed on the dotted line for Crystal Palace for a year, with an option to sign him next season for £15 million. I'm going to sell Nathaniel Klein to... What do you cry it? To Bournemouth. But all right, the guy's a wee bit upset he's not playing, but you're playing this game. I know. Absolutely no chance. Is that boy playing? We'll quick sim this because I have no care for the EFL Cup whatsoever. We win 5 4 on penalties. Who did we bring on? We brought on Edward for Park and Schlup, Zaha for Slup. Okay. That's annoying. As we tell this guy, Queen Salt, it's good. A loan offer for Rido. Well, no, you're good, man. He's he's our boy. Vitaliano, who was another option for. But we went with Sander Berg. I like Vitaliano, though. Very good player. He's based against Chelsea a couple weeks ago. It's class. The first game of this episode will be West Ham. And then we'll finish the transfer deadline. So we're away at the London Stadium. See if we can continue our winning ways that we started. Bazoa. Matumba. Much bigger stadium than London Stadium than we played at. Selhurst Park and Stamford Bridge are kind of smaller stadiums in my opinion, but <clears throat> pitch wise, I don't know what the capacities of the stadiums are. But Conor Gallagher finds a breach easy, who just shoots past the defender, dinks the ball in. Oh, Wilfred Zaha goes for it, but it's nobody's but Ariola. And Michael Antonio scores. Defence definitely hasn't gelled as well as we've hoped. Tariq Mitchell may be the outstanding person out of that, but... Conor Gallagher pings the ball over the top. He's trying to get it past Masuaki, but... Masuaki? Ariola again. Cleaning it up. Diote Conor Gallagher finds Basua! Oof! Not great. Not great at all. Ball over the top to Lanzini. Vlasic. Intercepted by Latumba. Easy. Out to Edward. But Declan Rice cleans up as you'd expect him to. Vlasic, Masuaku, Vlasic again. Stopped by Latomba again, but only back to Masuaku. Didn't string the passes together better here, Crystal Palace. Kiate finds Bazoa. Tries to make the run and just loses the ball. It's just like that. It's, it's silly. Bazoa. Ball in the box. What a goal from Hudson Edward! I know he's got it in his locker. The Palace fans maybe haven't seen much of it this season in real life, but I'm telling you right now, he is a player. And that is a goal. We like a volley. Bring on Park and bring on Ollis. Let's go for this. Edward comes off after his first goal for Palace. Good for him. It's 
Sicek, Lanzini. Take one race back to Lanzini. A few passes might be made, but nothing getting done here. And it's stopped and it's picked up by Schlop. Schlop finds Mitchell. Mitchell finds Zaha. Zaha. Ah, I can't find anybody. Probably the most disappointing. No, oh, it's right for the legs. Anderson. Now he has the ball. Out wide to Zaha, yeah. And here comes Wilfred Zaha. But he's got Craig Dawson. And the captain. Oh. Owen Fredericks. Stopped by Gunhai, who's been terrific. This is Zaha Park. Here comes Park. Finds Mikhailos. Yes, it's in. Oh, they had to wait a wee bit for that, but Mikhail Willis scores, the Frenchman scores. <sighs> the number seven. It's a great ball from Joshua Parks. Gets an assist with his name and it's just dinked over the top and Ryan Fredericks just can't quite get there in time. And it will be, hopefully, another three points for Crystal Palace here. Zaha intercepts him perfectly. Kiate, Gallagher. Can we find anybody about Vlasic? Mitrovic. Oh, what a challenge. Kiate showing his experience there. West Ham fans are adamant it's a penalty. We aren't so much. Zaha thinks it past the fullback Ryan Fredericks. Finds Joshua Park. He's led them on. Joshua Park takes it first time! And he scores his second in both games. Oh no, sorry, Jeffrey Schlupp. He was coming in at that angle. Of, it made me think Joshua Park. Oh, what a goal. And that probably seals it for Selhurst Park's Crystal Palace. What a ball! And it's just ever so slightly dinked forward. Jeffrey Slap, what a goal, son! It's 3 1 on the day, and Crystal Palace are looking healthy. After a shock at the start. Anybody else that we want to maybe sign in, bring in? Pro 
probably just show you can then that'll be it now. I'll put it in the beds for Garamoko Dembele and Josh Tuffy. Just like it is. Some more boys for the future. Obviously, Tyreek Mitchell is my starter. But. Karamoko Dembele. He's on small wages. I know he's got decent potential. It seems like a no brainer. Considering we're doing a rebuild. Rebuilds tend to take. No, two. Two, three, four years. Here we go. Okay. That's us done with the transfer window, that's for sure. We do have an offer for Ward. Now we're just getting rid of everybody. Make a puke, I'm not interested in any more. Anderson's buzzing with the win. Rightly so. The port goes to Real Madrid for 103 million wet. Offer for Wilfred Zaha. If you're willing to pay that, then sure, but I don't think none are going to have that type of money. Didn't think so. But Ward did sell, which is good. So now if we look at our... So we've spent 38.4, and we've sold 24.6. However... It told me keep the salary growth under 15%. The salary growth is still sitting at zero because I don't think we've gone, I think we've gone lower than like the players we've swapped. I.e. like Joe Ward's went out on 31 grand a week and we brought in uh, Josh Doig on six. You know, so it's like ridiculous, like cheap wages. Obviously, some of the boys, like Duke High, Bozoa, they were on a bit more. Ruben Loftus Sheik, I think, was on the most. However, 2.3 million for just going. A two year deal. Uh, just put him out on one for one, just so I can get rid of the wages, probably. He's not going to go anyway. Why on earth have. <laughs> Totally against Street Man United spent 105.5 million on Sar Vasquez, Isco, and Tizgankov, selling Shaw, and you signed Ben Teke and Dubois, selling Walker and Laporte for over 100. They must have money problems or something. Watford can sign him. The Barmy and Butland will go out on loan. I think he won't. I think it will cancel, break down. Yeah, broke down. Read about it. it is not for sale. Even for PSG. PSV. Damn, Patrick Lister. Right. 
rate mid, 63 rated, 6 foot 7. Let's see what Paddy Lister has to offer. More of a sentiment, isn't he? And Luke Alexander, 6 foot 4. Again, more of a sentiment. So see what that does to him. Fair. Oh, we'll keep an eye on you though. Kiai. In the next episode, we'll play Tottenham Hotspur. We take a look at their table. We've got Tottenham Hotspur and Liverpool next. Arsenal in the cup, followed by Brighton. But I'll not play the Arsenal in the cup game, so it'll be Leicester. Thanks for watching. See you later.